Hi, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is going to be a what's in my watercolor plein air kit. Uh, what I generally take with me when I go plein air painting. Um, these are for on the go quick sketches, nothing major in my sketchbook. Uh, just a little travel size one. I do have several others that I switch out with. Um, they are for my bigger travels. Uh, but this is just for in, when I'm in my city or I'm just going to a friend's house, something local or just one to take in the car while I'm going to go run an errand or something. Uh, this is by Home Cube. I got it off Amazon probably for about $12 to $25. When you open it up, oh, measurements would probably be about, this is about, I want to say eight and a half inches long and then about four inches wide so you'll we'll just do like that you have several compartments you got two here one here a small one here and then your main one here up here at the top when you open it up i have my watercolor palette that i use this is my smallest one i own this is a art toolkit one I do have the Art Toolkit Travel um, case as well. Like I said, I have several sizes. This is just for my mini sketch. Um, you open it up, it comes with, it came with a lot more wells than this, but I kept it down to six and I put two, these come out, these are magnetic. These are uh, two wells here and then a main big one here. I do have some more of these full pans and if I want, I can put more here, but I'd rather have it like this with my main warm and cool colors and the primary. And that's really all I need. Uh, so that's that. And then just these two stickers I throw in there. I have here for my spare cloth in case I lose my other one or something happens to it. I have an extra one here. And then I also have um, pins here and a uh, this here is my watercolor brush. Sorry about the noise in the background if you hear anything. This is my uh, travel one. This is about a size eight by black, silver black velvet. It holds quite a bit of water, so I really like this one. This here is my Sharpie fine line pen, so it's really good um, for like fine lines. It's in black, I believe. Uh, this is a brush pro marker. I love it if I want extra color. And I'm really obsessed with this orange looking color um, in all my paintings and stuff. So right now, it, this is a reasonable pencil that I got from Walmart. It's by Color Erase. And then I just have a small pencil that I broke in half and I sharpened. And then this one here, you can put your ID credit cards. I put my cash at the moment here. In the main compartment, you have your rag. My main rag that I use is pretty big. It holds a lot, my main rag. Uh, I have two uh, spritzers to re-wet my palette or to use for effects. So this one is for effects and this one is to re-wet my palette. I also have uh, a texture thing that I cut size down on and I use it for like trees or bushes or you can even use it to, if I lose both of those, I have this to back up to dry my, my water brush. Uh, just a basic big pen in blue because I don't have a blue one. <laughs> and then Sharpie pen, I like the ink on this one. Another brush pro marker, but in green. Uh, washi tape for my borders. And then I have two clips to hold down on my watercolor pad. These are the tiny ones. A small E pencil sharpener. A hair tie for my hair. A new eraser. It's by Prisma Color because I thought I lost my other one, but it's not lost. <laughs> uh, white gouache by Holbein. I don't really like this one. I want to try out the Windsor new ones, but we'll see. I'm working with it. Uh, this here I use for my water. Uh, I have two of these. I got these from Walmart. They're cheap. It's glass and then this is like aluminum probably, but I use it to put my thing in and then paint. Uh, this is a pin gear 
and it's just colored different colors when you write with it. I, I use it for effects. Um, my eraser that I've been using, just this red eraser, and then my uh, premium watercolor pad that I'm currently using for like small little stuff is by uh, Master's Touch. Like I said, it's only three nine nine, but you can get on sale sometimes, and I got it now for like a dollar or something. But like, you can do this with it, like different small painting sizes. This picture here, painting here, I uh, was watching one of my YouTubers, Chamberlain Paintings. He mainly works with oils, but he's been doing a little watercolor lately just to get more out there and it's lighter to carry. Uh, he did this, I believe, in Paris. So I just did, I paused the video and just painted along with them. Uh, then, like, it's like the borders here. That's what I use it for. And then I do the painting. And it's perfect size just to do some quick sketches. And then this here I got when I was at Fitness Expo in uh, my town. Just a T-Mobile charging port, so portable one, so it came in handy. It was free. So yeah, um, really loving this. And like I said, everything is easily, you can pack more stuff if you wanted to. I have. Um, I just line everything up here like so. It just fits perfectly. It's like a little, put that there, put that in the center there. Put the pins here, and then there, there, and then fold this up here, and then put that like that, and ta -da, that's it. And then you're good to go. So, like I said, it works for me. It's just a tiny one. I like that I do have others. But this is my quick one. So this is my what's in my watercolor pioneer kit. Yeah. So I have a painting and hopefully y'all enjoy it or get some use out of it or maybe find something in my bag that you could possibly use in yours. I am big about plain air painting and really getting to use color. I love color, bright colors in my painting. So um, most watercolors don't like opaque stuff. I do. Um, usually they want transparency. I do some transparency, but I do like the fullness of paint. Um, so yeah, so stay tuned for more videos.